This is a difficult day for all of us at London Health Sciences Centre. As you now know from a public release by the London Police Service earlier today, Vincent Gauthier, an EEG technician at London Health Sciences Centre, has been arrested and charged with one count of overcoming resistance by administering or attempting to administer drug and one count of sexual assault involving a patient earlier this year. We want to be transparent about what has happened and forthright about how we are dealing with it. We want to emphasize that the actions alleged in this case do not reflect the professionalism or values of our hospital and its thousands of caring employees and physicians. We want to ensure that our community knows that we have appropriately dealt with this matter, including the termination of this employee, and will continue to fully support the LPS investigation of this matter. We want to assure members of the public that we will be reaching out proactively to all patients who would have been seen uh, by this technician in an unsupervised capacity to ensure there are no concerns with the care they receive during their procedure. Finally, with your help, we also want to make sure we have made the public aware of the ability to call into the hospital if they have any concerns, especially regarding past or future EEG procedures. Clearly, we are very troubled and concerned that this may have happened at our hospital, and upon receiving the patient's complaint, we took steps to ensure that the employee was removed from all patient care duties at LHSC. In addition to launching our own investigation, we engaged the police, and with charges now laid, his employment has been terminated. Let me conclude by saying I remain steadfast in my belief that one individual's actions in no way represents the thousands of staff and physicians at LHSC who are dedicated to providing the best possible care for our patients. I will now open up the floor to the media for a brief question period. All right, Dr. Woods, can answer this part. When there is um, an investigation such as this one or a situation like this that comes up, does the hospital do then, as you were saying, their own investigation ahead of time before getting police involved? There's reason. To, the, the first steps that we would always take is to ensure patient safety. So that was the very first uh, step that we took. And at some point in the investigation, if it is believed that there is criminal uh, uh, behavior that is uh, that is undertaken, then the police are contacted. And, uh, and I'm not uh, uh, convinced conversant with what the triggers actually are for that, but I think as part of the process, if it is uh, determined that that is the case, then they are, they would always be uh, uh, contacted. Follow up, what kind of criminal background checks do employees at the LHSC go through? We have a, a standard uh, uh, vulnerable uh, back, I, I can't remember vulnerable what the back. Person screening. Vulnerable, vulnerable person screening that we do for all employees, and it was uh, undertaken with this employee as well. You mentioned you're reaching out to patients that may have had him as a technician. Do you have a number? How many people will be contacted? Uh, yeah, 838. Well, we have established a hotline, and uh, uh, so we are in, just in the process of, of uh, setting up an actual uh, evaluation of, of a, a specific complaint or concern, and then we will uh, uh, you know, hand over uh, to the police as part of their investigation as well.